Ahoy hi, I'm back from my holidays and it's an update time. Oh, sorry. First things first, yes, I did a whole bunch of videos that you'll see coming up with my new microphone, which I forgot to plug in. For example, this is the third time I've recorded this video. Anyway, I'm back from my holidays in Scotland. which, apart from those great bits, was a little bit eventful. Ouch. Went guitar hunting, um, went to lots of guitar shops, which are all very samey and boring, apart from one which is called uh, Joni's in Stirling where I bought this, a Les Paul special, the subject of probably next week's Resurrectionist. I also went and visited uh, my friend Pete Rankin. Oh, that's quality! Pete, if you remember, um, I made the Rastercaster for. And while I was there, I thought, oh, I'd better have a look at the setup, see how it's going, because it's been over a year. And there was things slightly wrong with it. But I had a problem. I didn't have a single tool with me. And it got me thinking, you know, looking around his toolbox, trying to find the right Allen key and this, that, the other. None of which worked properly. What would you have in an emergency guitar repair kit toolbox? So, I made one up. Here it is. Nice steel box covered in bits of horrible old paint and a nice sticker. What I want to do is go through this box. This is for repairs on the road, not full setups or anything like that. But what would you put in the box? What do you think I've missed out? And what do you think needs adding to it? Number one, a tuner. Why not? Number two, wire snippers. Needle nose pliers. What I call scuff pads. Um, it's abrasives for use with a little tub of lemon oil, a little tub of Goo Gone. Teeny tiny tape measure. Masking tape, because almost every job involves it. Microfiber cleaning cloth. Good quality rubber gloves. Nitrile in my case. A full Allen key kit. These have got rounded off ends at the bottom, but basically everything from 1.5 mils upwards. Ah. Do you know what this is? It's a sponge. Melanine foam sponge. I cut little bits of it about this size off get them wet, squeeze out the water, you can get rid of most stains and biro and felt tip pen and what have you off of most surfaces with this. How it works I really should know and I really should look up but I haven't. They sell it as magic sponge for about three pounds in stupid places. Go online, if that costs more than 50 pence you're looking in the wrong place still. It's magic, buy it. kitchen roll. Uh, 
Um, classical guitar, bridge pins, bridge, nut. Maybe an odd one here. This is a dental kit. Dental scrapers. What they are, quite importantly, is metal scrapey chaps where you can get rid of um, indentations of paint, and tweezers for pulling things out with. Really useful to have. Um, if you look at this and know what it is, your nails must be lovely. It's a nail boffing pad. Um, you can get them from pound stores. What it is to me, apart from making my nails lovely, is four different grits of sandpaper on a buffing pad so that you can smooth out ends of frets. You can get rid of slight scratches and things. It's really very useful. My world's tiniest neck rest. Some fret rubbers. And Q-tips or cotton wool buds, as the English would say. Digital calipers. Why? It's really useful to find out exactly what screws you need to replace something with, not just those look about right. Getting it wrong by a millimetre can crack some bits of wood. Get it right right. Uh, lovely jaws, nice flat edge. That should be able to do most nuts happily. A notch straight edge for making sure your neck's flat. Um, I really wanted one of those while I was away. Didn't have it. This was exceedingly cheap online, um, so I have had to put it on my registered flat edge to make sure it really is flat. And the same goes with this, your fret rocker. Um, those were in a kit online, exceedingly cheap. They did need a little bit of tuning to make sure they were exceedingly flat. Um, just a piece of wood with a, some cork on it. It's useful. It has been. This little pack I've had with me for a long time now. And it contains all sorts. So, another pair of wire snippers. Spare set of acoustic and electric strings. Um, little pack of screws. Pair of tweezers. One of these strange multi-tools you see advertised for undoing every single nut on a guitar. Um, I've never found them particularly useful, except when you don't have anything else. A rounded fret file, which came in that kit with the not straight edge and fret rocker. Um, I haven't had to use it yet. Um, maybe I will soon. There's some sharpening stones there. Not sure why I've got those. If you haven't got a string winder with a bridge pin remover and a set of clippers on the end, I don't know what you're doing here really. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? These are useful. Bridge pin removers are excellent. The only tool Ronson has ever made that I would say is good, and it still does need improvement. Ronson tools are, for people outside of the UK, um, they're a brand of tool that's found everywhere. You can find them in the local supermarkets. Um, you can find them you won't find them in a tool shop. They're very affordable. Um, they're eminently throwawayable. They're like the pop music of tools. 
Um, on occasion there is a classic and this is it and it's got two um, posi drive and stuck in the other end is two flathead blades on this handle which is very good um, I might show you how to upgrade this later on in order to make it work properly A knife, there's also a blade, some more Allen keys, some little mini files which are always useful, a metal ruler, Two fret protectors. And uh, an action guide. Or fret rock, um, fret guide, whatever you want to call it. Work out the height of your strings with them. I always have a metal one in my wallet anyway, but it's always good to have a spare one. So that's what's in my bag. What do you think's missing? What do you think I've overdone? Let me know below. Thanks very much. Take care. Don't forget to su subscribe down there. More videos here. We'll probably come back to this in the future. And don't forget the cats. Me, I've got to start again.